The New York Times claims there have been 1,600 mass shootings in the U.S. since Sandy Hook. But have there been? Even left-leaning media organizations disagree on this number. The New York Times says 1,600, but Mother Jones says 35. To add to the confusion, Every Town for Gun Safety said that there have been 156 shootings between 2009 and 2016. And Congress found that there were 319 shootings between 1999 and 2013. <coughs> so who's right? I'll keep you in suspense. I am Anders Hagstrom, and let's check your fact. While the actual number might be unclear, one thing is, the New York Times is nowhere close. So why are these numbers so different? It all comes down to how you define a mass shooting. Congress defined a mass shooting as when four or more people were killed in the same incident. The New York Times blew that wide open, changing their definition to include four people killed or injured in the same attack. Using their definition, the Times is technically correct, but four people killed or injured is hardly what Americans mean when they say mass shooting. Their definition takes advantage of domestic violence, robberies, gang violence, and bar fights. These overly broad definitions inflate the number of so-called mass shootings. Mother Jones's definition was far more stringent. They also only included incidents that took place in public and were committed by a lone shooter. Now that sounds a lot more accurate. The Times is 1,000 shootings higher than almost any other estimate. Experts say this number only adds confusion and is totally useless for making policy. So why would the Times choose this definition? It's likely to push an anti-gun narrative in a culture that only skims the news. Like if you were to define a gun using only Webster's third definition, you'd get this. 